This video is sponsored by Red Sericata. Have you been stuck in a house for days, up late at night with the notorious one last row, just to finish your work and it looks like a pack of hot dogs? Don't toss out your project just yet. Blocking can fix all your uneven problems. And I'm gonna teach you how to do it in this video. But before we do, you'll need the right equipment. I'll be using the red Sericata blocking combs, which can be purchased as a single set or a pack of two. You'll get 25 combs in a set and a bonus 100 extra T-pins, which you can use for blocking around round sections or peaks. This is 25% more than any other product. By using combs instead of T-pins, you're saving precious time. Here, I have an 85 inch stockinette panel that I made on the AliExpress. If I was to use T-pins, I would need about 75 to 100 pins just to finish blocking this, and who has time for that? The blocking combs have a curve to it, which makes it easy to hold, and the product is rust-free and safe for both wet and steam blocking. It gets even better. Red Suricata is offering a 15% discount to all of my subscribers, and to make this deal even sweeter, they're having a giveaway, and one lucky viewer will win their own set of blocking comb. All the information will be down in the description box below. Okay, let's hop into the tutorial so we can take our panel from this to this. In this project, I'll be using the red Sericata blocking mats with the blocking cones because they were made and tested to be a perfect fit together for your blocking projects. If you've never wet blocked before, the red Sericata blocking cones come with their own blocking instructions, and that's what we'll be following along to today. They say to begin by soaking your item for 20 to 30 minutes. I'm using acrylic, so typically I just wet it and that should be enough. After we gently pressed out most of the water, we're going to lay our item on a towel and place your work on it. We're not going to wring our work because that can cause damage or mess up the stitches that you work so hard to trade. We're gently going to press the excess water out with your towel. Now let's get ready to block. Okay, let's look at this roly poly mess. Usually when I work on an adding machine, which makes knit stock net panels, the ends will always continue to roll. So what we're gonna do is gently stretch your work, first vertically. We do this because your work is more malleable while wet. And you're gonna do this all the way down your work. And then we're gonna stretch horizontally. What this does, it just makes your stitches more even. Now we're going to lay our work down as flat as possible. I'm also using the red Sericata blocking mats. These grids help me line up everything like perfectly. Okay, let's get this as flat as possible. Okay, now that looks good. Let's take our first comb and we're going to place it in the corner. Now, all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna line it up with the grid lines already on the mat. Now take the next one and line it up with the grid. For my panel, I'm looking for more flattening and slightly stretching, not perfection, since mine is just gonna be for head wrap. They recommend placing your combs two to three inches apart. I'm using three inches, like I said, I'm not looking for perfection. If you want your edges straighter, I recommend counting over two inches. Like I said, I'm using three. So just place, line it up with the grid and place it in. We're gonna continue this down the remainder of your work. Just keep counting over two to three inches and placing a comb. Two to three inches and placing the comb. Like I said, these grid lines makes everything super easy. You can also use the smaller cones. As you can see, they're half the size as the eight pin ones for areas such as these up top. And can you also use the little T-pins provided on curved areas, or if you have make a project that has peaks, this will be the perfect option. Here's the before, and here's the after. If you would like to know more about the red Sericata blocking mats, I'll leave the link to those videos up above and down below. And remember, if you purchase this, you'll receive a 15% discount when you use my special promo code. And definitely don't forget, one lucky person will receive a free set of red Sericata blocking combs. Good luck, everybody, and I'll see you all on the next tutorial.